This is the KMAX Sports Network. Cavaliers fired up. Head to the right side. Manny Ball big swing. In the hammer. Bring the heat. It's Claymire around the band. And a kill for Kristen Claymire, the senior leader. And a creative celebration dance by the uh, Lake Travis band. Going everywhere here tonight for the Cavaliers. Rio on the serve. Everybody's scrambling. And a heat sinking missile of pain. Sasha the Slayer. Here comes Hamilton. Yes. And gets the kill in the cut. Attack chance for the Cavaliers. Eckler with the set. Erie with the kill. Yes. Takes set two. Yes. Wow, there is no denying Clay Meyer tonight. Erie with the swagger and the dagger. The Cav Dome is rocking, Mike. Hit again by Wheeler. Wheeler in the sky keeps on turning. Woo! And when you come into Lake Travis, welcome to Block City. This is Lake Travis Lady Cavaliers Volleyball on KMAX Sports. The undisputed leader in high school volleyball broadcasting. And now, here's your broadcast producer, as well as the voice of Lady Cavaliers Volleyball, Mike Youngwood. Cavaliers! Cavaliers! I need to turn it up a little. Yeah. All right, welcome. You're listening to Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball on KMAX Sports. Mike Gunglet, Mike B. Secker with you. Mike and Mike is back in action here at Austin High. Your Cavaliers on the road tonight taking the Austin High Maroons Cavaliers 10-0. And uh, looking to keep this freight train rolling. Uh, taking on an Austin High team that uh, the Cavaliers swept early on. Some good players on this other side, but... Yeah, the mission continues here for Lake Travis. Absolutely, absolutely, Mike. I tell you, I'm glad to be back. And, uh, you know, they have some good players. They have some good middle hit, middle hitters and some middle play on that side. But I tell you, we were we were hitting on all cylinders against Anderson as we talk. I went back and looked at the stats. You know, we had four four players with nine, nine uh, kills or more. Um, everybody was hitting at a real high percentage. And, uh, you know, we had, we had one middle. Um, that, that hit, you know, 10, uh, more than 10 uh, kills, and we had two right sides and, and one of our outsides. And the right side, I think it, their performance was really promising. I'm sure Coach Bourne's excited about that. Um, get more pro productivity from that side as well. I mean, they looked like video game numbers. Like, they, they did. didn't even look real. But, I mean, that team came out determined. They were ready to hammer and terminate pretty much everything. And, you know, the good sets, good passes, good attacks, and when you have all those things working together, boy, that, this is a really tough team to beat. Yeah, I think I, hopefully we're peaking right now. This is the time you want to peak, and, uh, you know, I, th I think they looked great the other night. I think Anderson actually put up a, a better fight than the first time, but we, we just uh, we had all the answers and a uh, very efficient game for the Cowboys. Okay, well, look at the standings here again. Lake Travis 10-0, and only one set lost. Uh, Westlake 9-1. Hayes seven and three, Bowie six and three, uh, Aikens at fifth place at four and five, Austin High at four and six. So Austin High looking up, and I mean this is a desperation game for them tonight. I mean if they can make some noise here, that could get them some momentum throughout the way. But no, I think Lake Travis determined not to let that happen. I agree, and I, I think that uh, you know that they're 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 still fighting for that fourth spot. You know we have a big match in the district tonight, Hayes and Bowie. You know, trying to figure out who's going to be third or fourth. But, you know, Austin, you know, mathematically, they're still in it. So they're going to probably put up a good fight here on their home court. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Hayes is a little bit better than Bowie. But, I mean, Bowie, uh, when you saw that play, they have potential. I mean, they, they had kids that could hit. They could dig up the ball that, I mean, they swept Hayes the first time around without Ryan Torres. is probably the best. I, I, I mean, we've got some great setters here, but that kid might be the best one out of this district. And, well, when she's really on top for a game. But It'll be a uh, really interesting match tonight. I, I agree with you. I think Case seems to be the better team. Uh, Bowie's got a great coach, though, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, you know, he's, he's very, very experienced. But, uh, you know, right now, Coach Bourne has to be really excited about the level of play. Let, you know, hopefully we can keep it going here and, uh, you know, move, move uh, keep moving the right direction in the district. And I believe we will not have jams tonight to come down with some sickness. Which uh, now for the Cavaliers, I mean that's a little bit of a bummer. We, that that takes out like half half of my catchphrases. <laughs> yeah. So I, you I know cheat, that that <laughs> it's really more lo lost to me as I, I lose the entertainment <laughs> and, value to a degree. And and our listeners, I think they enjoy those those nicknames. I I was telling somebody the other day, you know she she leads the the pin hitters in hitting percentage on the year as a sophomore, which is which is great for this team. 
um, you know, the talent that's on this team. And she also leads in, in nicknames for she, she, like, She's got as many as there was. And as soon as Coach said James Wheeler, and I said, oh, my Lord, this is, this is going to be the best season ever. Absolutely the best. Well, teams gathered here across from each other here at the court at Austin High. We've got a freshman game going on behind us, so we'll hear whistles. We'll hear commotion. Might hear some stomping. Probably some peaceful parents, but we'll take it here to the floor for the introductions and lineups in our end. Thank you. 
Swift. Number 15, Senior Frida Lachlan. Number 16, Junior Dre Rowland. Number 17, Junior Seal B. Number 18, Senior Unicia Stewart. And number 19, Senior Emily Guerra. The Maroons were coached by head coach Ali McAllister, assisted by Kristen Lozano, Emily Garza, and Emily Farmer. Let's play ball. Well, that was a very enthusiastic introduction. Props to that PA guy. I thought I thought he really got into that. He could give you a run for your money, Mike. You know, th it's good to have competition everywhere. It just makes you better. I mean, right. it raises your standard, and they talk about that here a lot at Lake Travis. It's, uh, it's good to appreciate your competition sometimes. So. Absolutely. I tell you, it's a pretty crowded gym tonight. A lot of people here to support their, uh, their Maroons, and, um, you know, it should be an exciting match. It should be a good one here, and we, we certainly could pull up the, the match history between these teams. Uh, they were Austin High was not in Lake Travis's district the the, the past couple of years. Uh, was in our in our my first year as Forest Broadcasting, and uh, the first one I can the Cavaliers had a really weird one in this mat uh, in this gym. The time that we were here, I think they won, but. I remember it just being very bizarre. Really? Like something about it was very strange. But uh, nine and one, Cavalier history. Yep. Uh, back on September fifteenth of two thousand fifteen, Cavaliers won that one three to one. Uh, went twenty nine seventeen. That that's why I remember that first set being so really bizarre. Uh, Leah Mulkey, how many kills did she have that game? She had uh, 11 kills, and if you want to turn on the SEC network right now, you can catch her uh, against Florida. We'll talk about more of that on the Cavs College section. Okay, great. Leah Florida, Mulkey Florida killing tonight. it, you know. But uh, Cavaliers currently on the floor. We've got Keely Hamilton, Abby Watts, Kelsey Cohen, Kristen Claymeyer, Sasha the Slayer Rudick, and Maddie Williams. So Watts will start us off here for the Cavaliers. And floats it over here, middle, overpass, nearly overpass, jousted, blocked by Rudick for the first point. Nice block by Sasha, getting, getting off to, to a fast start. Little mishandle on their side. Abby's, a, you know, Abby's been a good server for, for, for Lake Travis. It's really been putting the ball on the money right there. So Watts at her feet, lines it down the line, left back, pass in the middle, bump pass from the left side over two blockers, received by Cohen High, pass to Watts, comes the back row attack by Hamilton, and a kill. Keely left off, and she's starting right where she left off in the last match. That is, uh, that is 11 straight kills for her with no errors. That's, uh, that's, that's a pretty nice thing to do. That generally helps your team win. Absolutely. So Watts. Continuing uh, to light the fire here over pass. First pass to Rudick. Pass behind to Hamilton. Back to the net. Claymeyer scrambles to get the third touch over. Set from the middle behind by Austin High. Set high, long, and deep, and too far. The attack by Emma Bockholt. And we have a 3 0 lead for the Cavaliers in set number one. Off to a fast start. Abby's putting pressure on them. They're a little out of system. Line drive against him and let back Jousted again and blocked by Rudick at the net. Right now Austin High is having some, some, some passing challenges. We're getting a couple overpasses and you know our big middle middle hitters putting it away. Yeah, we can make this a quick night. Easy trip home. Serve receive and nearly an ace. Jousted around. Hit by Cohen on the first. Watch set behind her because Maddie on the slide tries to cut it, but off the top of the tape. You know, good. Maddie went off one foot there, and, and I, I think what you know what you saw from her the other night, she was doing a lot of the two-foot approach. Yep. Standard approach to the right side. I like that, but, uh, you know, she'll get hers tonight, I'm sure. Cavaliers in service team. Hamilton high pass behind the attack line. Clay Meyer runs it. Two hands it over to the left back once, twice, and now here comes the third overhand freebie. Cross court to Cohen. Watts with a set. Clay Meyer throws it over. Block back to Cohen. Hamilton back up in the air. They'll say that did not clear the net. It was not blocked by probably a good call. Chris has had some, had to make a lot out of nothing, right? And it's been a. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was an uncharacteristic uh, missed opportunity on an in system ball for us. But. All right, received by Hamilton, pass around to Watts, hit again by Clay Meyer. Pass around to Watts, bumped to here to the left side to Maddie, floats it over, diving, dig back row by 
Austin High on the third touch over. No real attacks here for Austin High. Watch quick set, quick hit by the Slayer. Hit back again, Maddie pounds it! And the kill for the Williams wall. That was, that was great anticipation by Maddie. Uh, nice rally there, probably the best rally of the night. Again, it looks like we're trying to run a little faster here, which is which is good, talking about that tempo. Here we go, Clay Meyer at her feet, lines it right back up in the air. Go right back on the give and go, tipped off the block. Hamilton and Rudick there. A good strike on the right side of there by that kid. I think it was Noel Wright. Yeah, number two. Nice nice swing, we were there, just got to turn that block in a little, but, uh, but still, you know, good touch. Five to three, got Mike and Mike here at Austin High. Received by Claymeyer, low pass here to Watts. Here comes Maddie on the right side, cuts it, covered up by the right back, passed around, hit on the left side, off the top of the tape, and back. And a point for the Cavaliers, up six to three in set one. Austin High's doing a pretty good job of covering our, our hits. That was a nice swing by Maddie. Uh, better dig and, uh, you know, a little tool on their side. Point Austin. Oh, wow, they, they called that a point. Okay, well, we'll have an error called on Austin on the serve. Six to four, Cavaliers back on the approach. Kelsey Cohen, senior left-hander, Libera just playing fantastically. Sends it deep back to left back, pass around out of system. Runner hit at Williams, here to short. Hit to the outside, Hamilton with a big rip, and spun off the block, out of play back on the Cavalier side. And a kill for Keeley Hamilton, who's still on fire. She's playing outside right now, so Jams is is out, and uh, Keeley's playing the outside position right now for her. And we do wish to pump up the Jams. We wish to pump up your immune system, Jams. Hope you feel better. Set in front of the net. Here comes the strike on the left side. Blocked by the Williams wall, and Castaneda in the ball game. Great reach by Maddie. I mean, she extended, penetrated that net. She pressed really hard. That's exactly what you want to see from the right side. Eight to four, Cavaliers lead. Cohen, and you're on the serve, the senior. For Lake Travis, received here middle. Set in the middle, hit up the block, and a good strike in the middle by Emma Bockholt. And, you know, there you see for Austin, you get a good pass in the middle, you get a good attack chance. That's right. It all starts with passing, Mike, and uh, they were they were out of sorts earlier in this, this match. They're starting to get a little bit more rhythm. I tell you, that she's a nice-looking player. Six foot three, good, good athlete. Um... Attacks well from the middle. Want to keep an eye on her through the match. She did really well in the last match, too. They got some good middles here at Austin High. Serve received by Claymire. Passed right up in the air. Here comes Hamilton off the block. Received left back. Passed straight up in the air. Set here to the left side. Over two blockers. Cohen there to save the day. And we've got a net violation called. Uh, probably on one of the blockers there, but Cohen there with a good dig that on the nice uh, left dig. back side. Nice dig. I think Cassie might have pressed a little bit on the, on the net there. And there's a serve received by Hamilton. Pass to the right side of the floor. Maddie from the attack line cuts it. And a great touch from the right side. Maddie is just uh, playing outstanding. What can we say? Continue to continue in that. You know, I, I like to see that nice controlled shot. She she took a little off there. She didn't she didn't need to put all of her power into that. She hit a good good spot on the court. Um, they're serving they're serving us pretty well. They're trying to yeah. take our outside hitters out of the out of the play. And Carson Heppel from the right side sends it deep and just a touch too strong. I don't think that was out by much, but, you know, hey, good to be aggressive early. No, it, was a good, it was a close close play. I think, you know, it looked like she put it where Boren probably wanted her to and was just a little long, probably a little adrenaline coming in, you know, off the bench, a little adrenaline right there. Again, a shout out to Les Clary, our QA. Floater here to Cohen, straight up in the air, just behind the attack line. Bump pass here to Eklund, left side. Lasers it with a kill on the left side. Nice and swing by Eklund. That was that was a really nice swing. It wasn't a you know it wasn't a perfectly set ball. We were out of system, but she she found a great spot, put a nice nice rip on it. Gonna stripe there by Eklund. And here comes Rio, Diamond Rio resurgences here, middle of the floor, set from the middle here to the right side, attacks, cuts it, Heppel trying to save it with one arm, and that ball just dropped to the floor. Right idea, but that ball just kind of caught the underneath of her good, forearm. Good swing. That, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that right side was going to put it in the deep corner. That's a tough place to defend. 10 to 8, Cavaliers lead and back and serve, receive, and we'll have Roland on the serve, jump serve, line drive, Cohen with a good pass, spun up in the air, hit the left side, there comes Kristen, Kristen with a kill in the seam, between the left back and the mid, good strike. Nice swing by Kristen, she, she had a great night the other night as well, and she's continuing that, she's swinging freely when she gets an opportunity, and uh, you know, that was a nice aggressive serve by Austin, a good, great, great dig, or great 
pass, I should say, by Cohen, and we were able to make a play out of it. And we'll have Cassidy Lake area here on the serve at her feet. Floats it over at the right back. Pass straight up the air. Still in the back row. Attacking left side. Clears it. Punched up in the air by Claymeyer. Hep over the left side. Claymeyer tips it over. Great and spot. Nikki Vick swinged it. It's just find the open area. Great spot. You know, she's, she's good at finding those deep corners. That power tip we talked about last yep. time. Um, you know, nice dig there as well. She, she, you know, she got a nice dig on a hard hit ball. Brought it back to her and... Good play. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Quick huddle for both these teams. We want to thank our sponsors, Capital Title and Keller Williams Realty, official sponsors of Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball here on KMAC Sports and Fight Media. If you want to tweet us, you can certainly do so at uh, KMAC Sports and at Vipe, ATX, B-Y-P-E, ATX. Give us a shout on the old Twitter machine. Trying to stay away from that Twitter thing. It's been a confusing couple of days. <laughs> Not going to get into it. It's a weird world we live in. And up is down, down is up. And, you know, here sports is just sports, and we'll leave it at that. And, I hear you. You know, I hope. You. Yeah, hope it's, been, uh, it's been a wild week if you're following any of the political things for sure. Man, uh, it's just a. It's just, yeah, thankfully my job is to talk about sports. Uh, that is, that's what it's about here. Here, a great serve pass out of system back into play. Here's the third touch called for by Eklund. Set and big hit by the slayer. Wow. Taking that, care of business. Sasha, that was great, great play. In system, like you said, started with a very good serve by Cassidy. Got them way out of system. Came back, we right to the middle. Um, you know, Sasha, you know, that was one of her classic Sasha Slayer swings that you talk about. And there we go. Five-point lead for the Cavaliers in set one. Erie leading the rally. Closer, clears the net. The right back set here to the left side. Punch over block back by Eklund. And say that one touched out on the Austin side and a point. Now, hey, pretty good block for the most part. That was a good block. Again, we just turn it a little bit on our pins, turn those balls in, and, we'll, you know, those will be points. But, I mean, we're, we're not missing by much. And we're going to proceed by Rio. Good pass here to Hempel behind. There comes Eklund, lefty with the diagonal. Here to the right side. Bumped up here by Austin. Strike on the left side. Blocked by Rudick. Blocked back. Jousting again. Eklund nearly reaching over. Uh, oh, they're going to say a net violation called on, like, Travis. Eklund may have touched the tape. She might have. She might have. I, it was I very close. It was close. It was close. They have a better eye on it probably than our angle. I, I, I think... It, it, it's certainly conceivable that could be true. <laughs> and it's something we said in the political process. Uh, that could be true. That could be. Received here by Claymeyer. Pass here by Hempel here to the outside. Back to the give and go. Tipped, tooled off the block. Claymeyer with a hammer. Nice swing. I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely serving our outside hitters. They're trying to get them out of the, the offense. But Kristen had almost the perfect pass. They brought it right back to her. Way outside in the pins. Uh, you know, one thing we didn't talk about is how much our offense is starting to to spread the defense out, really setting the ball deep to those pins. Mike B. Secker with you here. Serve receive at the Watts, set from the outside, missed, and going to be a freebie. Hit back to Lake Travis Cohen, good pass, nail pass, hit to the outside, Claymire over two blocks, dug up by the mid, pass run lower left side, hit tipped, covered by Watts off the block. Cohen straight up in the air, the pass behind, runner, hanging on the net, dropping down, blocked by Rudick. Still alive here on the Maroon side. Hit on the left side. Blocked again. And pass behind here on the Maroons. Overhanded. Picked up by Matty. Pass by Rio. Hit by Claymeyer overhead. Received by the Maroons. Set from the middle. Oh, missing. Punched up on the downswing. Cohen's going to pass up here to the right side. Matty with the block back. Cool. Hit by Rio. Oh, and a drop back. Cohen and Rudick kind of hesitating there, but. We, you know, it was another, we, we were covering the block. We were doing that the other night. It was a really nice, really good rally. Sasha is being very active at the net right now. Uh, you know, she's getting her hands on a lot of balls. They're not falling for, for kills for, on the blocks, but she is, she's definitely doing what she does best. And it's diving. Serve received by pass back here to the Austin side. Overhanded over Cohen there to save it again. Jump set. Quick tip. Covered by Austin. Hit on the right side. Here comes Bingham. Hit on Block back, blocked again by Rudick, the blocking machine. Hit against. Tut diagonal, Rio with the save. Cohen with the pass here, out of system. Killed by Claymire. Ooh, just a smidge behind the line. Well, that was close. That was close. Another good rally. Sasha is blocking um, a ton of balls. They're covering them on their side. You got to give them credit for that. 
We're in a pretty tight match here, Mike. And service hit by Cohen, set by Watts. Here comes Claymeyer with a big swing, and it's too far. A little outside, you know, she, she took, a, took a run at that. Uh, I think she was actually trying to hit it off the blocker's hands and just missed. And it's float serve received, wet serve, covered up by Rudick, pass out of system. Oh my lord, that's a beautiful cut there. Great touch shot by Kristen Claymeyer. Yeah, you see why she's committed to go to Houston Baptist with, I, a, with a little touch shot like that on the left side. That was, that was a very nice beat shot right there, as you mentioned. That was probably around the three-foot line, hard cut. Just what we needed to get the you know get get the ball back and, and Claymire determined spins it over here to the far side right side set across hit on over by Bockholt almost overpassed Watts straight behind Maddie down the line picked up here the back off the ceiling here comes the attack from left side tipped off the block Claymire great pass here to Watts here comes the outside attack by Hamilton floats it up in the air good strike pass behind. Bigham tries to cut it. Maddie there to save the day. Watts sets it behind. Here comes Claymeyer for the roll shot. Good coverage by Austin High. Pass back to Blake Travis. Set by Watts. Here comes Hamilton. Tipped off the block. Covered by the mid for Austin. Pass around. Now back here. Ooh, contested. Almost dug out of the net. Hit by Maddie. Maddie over the block and too strong. And we got a touch call over here. Let's see if the, the, the up ref will take it. He is. So we had a touch on that by the blocker. Another la rally. Austin High is extending these rallies, putting pressure on us. And we'll see how long that lasts. I mean, we've seen a couple of matches where teams do it, and by the time they get to set two, all that momentum is gone. And yep. that's a struggle for everybody that faces LT is. You know, yeah, you get that push, they get that push, and then all of a sudden, you know, you get maybe tattooed on the line defender, and all your spirit drops when the Slayer mashes one. Under Austin open High's court, here at home tonight, and, and they're feeding off the crowd a little bit here. And I, I tell you, they are serving pretty aggressive. They're 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 pushing us deep sometimes, and then they started doing that short serve. Um, you know, that takes some of our players out of play a little bit. Um, yep. And and they're really they're digging better tonight. They're they're digging well. Um, and so you know, we just got to keep at it. We we got to keep doing what we do. Keep spreading yeah. the ball around. Like I said, they're mixing up really well off the serve. They've gone short. They've gone deep. You know, the thing that really impressed me about LT is that, you know, how many times do we see a pass from the back row converted into a really quality attack? Like, I don't think a lot of teams do that nearly as well as, like, Travis does. Surface heat by Austin. Hit off the block. Hole, punched up in the air by Cohen. Watts calls for it. Off of Fetus, great hit by Hamilton on the left side. Covered up by the Maroons. Tipped off the block. Punched up in the air by Claymire. Jumps set, dumps off. Great play there by Abby Watts. Great court awareness. That was, that was perfect. Perfect timing on that. You know, everybody was moving. Um, we've been in these long rallies, and, you know, just when you think she's going to go outside, she, she's a nice dump. Kristen Claymeyer on the serve, the senior for the Cavaliers. On the floor with Maddie, Sasha, Keely, Abby, and Kelsey. Set from the middle here by Austin High. Head to the left side. Bing with the lefty, covered up by Cohen. Watts hustling. Keely from the attack line. Tipped off the block. Popped short. Hit on the left side, hit up high again. Claymeyer saving it from the mid. Hit on the strike on the left side. A great attack by Hamilton. Hustling forward is Austin on the second. Here comes the third. Go get him the next time. Transition for the Cavaliers. Set by Watt. Hit by Rudick. The Slayer. That was beautiful. Perfect volleyball right there. Great rally. Woo. Austin High looked like they were getting some momentum. Their entire bench was standing up. They had a great save. We we take an in-system ball and go right to our right to our strength right to right to uh, Sasha, and I mean that, that that's yeah Sasha didn't have like her best game that last one. I mean she is blocking well. She is a blocking machine. There there's a nickname there. I'm gonna come up with one here by the end of this match. Like <laughs> the Slayer can't just be enough, and we've got jams down. Somebody's got to pick up the nickname threshold, and it might be <laughs> the Slayer. 18 to 14, Sasha playing great. Sasha is she's very active at the net. I, I agree. She, you know, it was almost, I, if you look at the statistics, Coach Bourne might have had a plan to try to get Maddie a bunch of really good swings. She got Kristen a bunch of really good swings. Um, and Cassidy got a lot of, lot of good swings, yeah, she, you know. Cassidy was 9 of 11 in the last game. Like, are you kidding me? She was, she was on fire. And that, that's, you know, that gives you confidence. Good serve by Claymire, midcourt, set behind. I'll go back row attack by Roland. Watts going to pass one up in the air. 
Claymeyer skies and reaches for it. Hit on over here to the Austin side. Bingham now here from the left side. Received by Claymeyer. Cohen calls for it. Attack the net. Oh, and Hamilton trying to save that one from inside the pin. And not an easy pass. Kelsey makes it look like anybody can do it. And, you know, not her best, but give that kid some slack. She's been unbelievable this year past the ball. Been playing. She's been playing great. I, I think she'd want that one back, but she's yeah. been playing great. You always get one. You always want one you want back. You're like, all right, next play. Cavaliers ahead 18-15. Good fight by this Maroons team thus far here in step one. And Keely made, you know, Keely made an athletic play on that ball. It was just too far outside the antenna. Uh, but Austin High's come, you know, they, they're coming. Like you said, it, this second time around, we're going to get everybody's best, at least in this first set. And, and to Lake Travis's credit, when, when you know that happened, sometimes your energy sinks. And I think they've, they've – They've had no letdowns as far as, you, like, you didn't walk out of that gym feeling like, oh, they didn't really play that hard or they weren't that focused or, you know. You, uh, see, you see Kristen right now. So we have a delay. Something's going on at the you know, scorer's table. I like what Kristen, the leader of this team, grabbed everybody, brought everybody to the middle, and, and you know, they're having their own team huddle right now. That's senior leadership, and I think that's part of why – you don't see these letdowns, right? They've been through this last year. You, yeah. you remember probably better than I, you know, and they don't want that to happen this year. No, that, I mean, that's uh, – and that takes conscious practice when you're you know, aware of your teammates. Maybe they're drifting up, looking in the crowd, wondering what those broadcasters are saying about <laughs> them. And it's like, no, bring it back to here. Like well, Mike and Mike, I mean, I, I did get a, quite a few comments on the Mike and Mike show, so I, I'm sure – Yeah, you know, you did awesome. We did <laughs> awesome. It was, it was, you it was know – Golick and Greenberg are, you know, they're done. And uh, a service error on Bockholt from Austin High. Uh, boy, she had some really great strikes. And, she does. Uh, She's got an aggressive. She, uh, she has a good jump serve as well. So, yeah, let's take advantage of it. Let's go on a little run here. We have the ball and Cohen serving. Cohen launches a deep pass here to the net. Good pass hit by Bingham, but into the net. And there you see the, uh, one of the air starting to deflate out of the tires of Austin High that, you see the frustration? I, I think it's hard to play against us. We have such a, a good tandem, you know, as you mentioned, blocking team. Uh, that wears on you as a hitter. And good serve by Cohen. Passed around out of system. Here comes the third touch of freebie for Lake Travis. Cohen, good pass. Watts, great set. Here comes Maddie on the slow slide. Tip over. Passed around here by Austin High. Pe hit by Roland. Now the set by Watts to the outsider. Here comes Hamilton. Tip tooled off the block. Saving. You know, good hustle there by Austin High, but, you know, they also have tickets to the Hamilton show, and it's sold out every night. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, Hamilton Kelly continuing continues. to put on a great show. She is. She's, she's hitting at a high high percentage, and she's, she's really come along these last 10, 12 matches. 21-14, Cavaliers lead by 7, looking to move on to 7-0. and Hit on the left side, hit deep, Claymeyer punches it. Watts pass it back into play. Maddie tosses it over. And wow, great touch to the left back area that was open. And nice, nice, nice play. You know, not the best set. You know, we were a little out of system. Uh, Maddie found a good spot in the deep corner. She's, you know, she, that, that's what you got to do. That's another great game by Maddie thus far. It eight, is, it is. eight point lead. Cohen sends it here. Set to the middle. Dump off. Oh, and Claymeyer trying to dive for it. Good uh. hustle. I, I, I will say that's a, that's Abby's ball or Cohen's ball, and Abby Abby took a little hesitation there. She knows she's got to pinch in on that. You know, Kristen's responsibility is deep back, um, but that's okay. That was a good run. You know, we separated a little bit here. Let's see if we can close this out. Yeah, good effort to try to help her teammates, though. Watts bumps it back behind Maddie with the attack, cuts off the tape, and another kill for Maddie Williams. Another kill for Maddie. Maddie, you know, continuing to really hit efficiently. What I really like what she's doing. She's not taking a full swing on every shot. She's looking at what the set and the, and the, you know, and the blocks will give her, and she's taking what she can. 23-15 here at set one. Hempel serves it short, and nearly an ace hit on the right side, not by Austin High. And double. we've got a double called on Austin High, 24-15. Yeah, this is where we, 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 we tend to extend in the back half of these sets, as you said. They come out on fire, and... It just starts to, you know, our, our, our offensive pressure starts to wear on these teams. And Heppel here with a potential set point overhead pass by the Barrow by Austin High. Hit on the left side. It's too strong. That'll be point twenty-five. And ho hum, ho hum. Cavaliers on run number one as uh, take 
25-15, that seems to be the, you know, how we how we start. I, you know, I think Nick Saban says it right. Uh, you take what the defense will give you until they give you the game, and that's what we did there. You know, we, we started out swinging very aggressively like we did the other night, but you know what? We weren't hitting as many balls in, and you see the players kind of start to pick their spots and, and be more efficient with their hitting, and, and uh, you know, we really are able to pull away. And, you know, you, you brought up that one point of the forest leadership is concerned that when there is dead time, there, there's a contrast there. At Lake Travis, they gathered in the huddle, and when you look down the Austin high side, no disrespect to those kids because sometimes, I mean, those are the small little things that, that you learn over time as you go through success and failure. Dude, that's a really good point, Mike. That is that true. I mean, there's I six kids 16, just standing I, around there. there was and 16, 15 during that, that delay. We were huddled up. I don't know what they were talking about, but I'm sure trying to be prepared. And you know yeah. what? Their setter came out of that delay and missed. Maybe missed went right missed in the net. Missed to serve. And next thing you know, we get the ball, and, and we're on a run. And, you, you, you know, you do start to see – you do start to see our blocking take take effect, boy, in these matches. The hitters hit one out, they hit one long, they hit one in the net. Um, so, yeah, that was that was an important part of that first set. Matty Williams, awesome in set one. Sasha, incredible there at the net as a blocker. Yeah, Matty, I mean, Kaylee Matty. was on fire early. Kristen, I mean, Kristen's all-around game is so impressive to me as she fills up his stat sheet, like, like Oscar Robertson or something, because she does. I mean, if you really look at, it, she's she's the second. Um, if she gets the second most receiving uh, passes to Cohen. Uh, she has uh, the second most digs. She has the most kills. Um, she she is our all around player for sure. Um, and you know, really tonight, it, you know, Sasha's putting in the. You know, Sasha's having a standard Sasha night, right? She is she is attacking the ball aggressively. And, uh, you know, Keely and Maddie, Maddie are, are really continuing their, you know, their good play. And uh, Cavaliers were at 18-15 to 15 at one point and end the set one on a 7-0 and run. That's how you love to see this team play. Like, they are, uh, you know, full steam ahead. But we will take a quick breather. You're listening to Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball on KMAX Sports. Mike in with Mike B. Secker. Mike and Mike in the house here at Austin High. And we'll be right back after this. Pets Alive. The mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help. Adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you are needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. Sound off. Tell us what you think right here on Twitter at KMAX Sports. Nothing stopping the Cavaliers now. They're all the way up in set one, 25 15. And back here in serve receive here in set two. And Sasha overhands. Didn't need to have to wail on that one. Just a good touch over. Dropped it in the middle of the floor. Point for the Cavaliers to start set two. Really good recognition by Sasha there. She, she knew, you know, she's making smart plays, swinging hard when she can, and making plays when, you know, put the ball down when, you know, the set's not quite there. Passed around, and going to be an ace here for the Cavaliers. And that was Kristen Klemeyer on the serve. Updating our KMAX scoreboard. and uh, Kristen had a really good night serving the other night. And uh, I think now her and Abby, I believe, are tied for the most aces on the team right now. Clay Meyer are going to be on the serve. I can't. I've got a weird angle at trying to figure out who our servers are. So you might have to be my eyes here, Mike. Sure thing. Clay Meyer at her feet. Lines it. Pass between two maroons. And an ace Another for Kristen ace. Clay Meyer. Well, we start, we start out with a kill from Sasha and two aces from Kristen. And... Just continuing that momentum on that 7-0 run you mentioned, so that's now a 10-0 run. Three to nothing lead Cavaliers. And another ace for Kristen Claymeyer. Great serve, great serve. She's ser serving deep in the seams between the Libero and the DS. And, and they're a little confused right now on the Austin High side. Playing with great enthusiasm too. And I mean that that's one thing that I mean you can play hard, you can play under trap, but you're enthusiastic about your team's success. Overhead dick here by Austin High on the receive. Claymeyer. 
Hit over the block on the right side. Watson in front of the net. Now passing here to the right side. Maddie with the hammer. The, 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 the Maddie with the heat and a kill for the Cavaliers up 5 nothing in set two. Coach Warren has to be so excited to see the productivity we're getting from the right side right now. Maddie is leading the way there, finding the floor on most of her swings. Surveying into the net. Be the first point for the Maroons. And Good run by Kristen. Good run by Kristen. And, uh, you know, we already have them on their heels, 5-1. Again, I mean, the spirit's down a little bit. And, I mean, that's the thing you have with young teams is you get energetic and, like, you're going to get pushback. Serve received by Claymeyer. Watts with the bump pass from left side. Hamilton tips and gets the kill. You know, didn't have to hammer it. Just a good, easy swing and found the space. Killed the Cavaliers. She went down the line with almost a beat shot. We call that a high line shot. She went right over the top of the setter. She was trying to go to the deep corner. It was a very difficult play for Austin High. High line, I'm writing that down in my notes. Cohen here in the <laughs> serve, bump pass up in the air. Now hit on over, received by Claymeyer, set by Watts. There comes the attack by Hamilton, blocked in the net by Sadie Swift. That was a nice block by the freshman on Austin High. I was about to hit you because that was a play there. We ran a stack. Yeah, that was a Remember stack, that? like yeah. you mentioned in the last broadcast. And yeah, I was like, look, look good. that was cool. I like that little play, but. Cavaliers back to work. Erie passes, went back out of system. Hamilton floats it over, received left back, hit on the left side. Roland tries to cut it. Kristen trying to save her with one hand, a dive and take a tap, and uh, that's the point for Austin High, now three to six. Good swing by Roland, good swing, good touch on our side. Ball didn't hit the floor. Three to six, jump serve here by Austin High. Pass around out of system, Cohen back into play. Hamilton left side, floats it over block, set from the middle, pass behind. Jelly. Blocked by the net. Jelly just got jammed. Jelly got jammed. Jelly short on that a little bit. She, you know, on the, on the right side there. We had a big wall up. She didn't know what to do. Uh, you yeah, know, that's what that's what our team does to, to other hitters. Our thoughts, Jams Whaler. We hope you're feeling sick. That we were hoping that pun would be for you and an ace for Carson Hempel. We're really he serving well this set. Uh, you know, we're really really pepper in the middle and the seam here on the Austin High side and. Really struggling with their serve and right now. Hempel floats it over a spinning ball. Now set in the middle by Austin. High block, jousting back in there. A block in, trying to overhit. Now the third touch by Hempel. They're going to say that, oh, there's a kill by Eklund on the right side. I feel like the Cavaliers touched that one like eight times. So. <laughs> great kill. Great recognition and kill by, by McKenna. She, you know, she's come in uh, this match with uh, Jams out. We have Keeley playing outside, and that brings Kenna in on the right side, and I think she's two for two. So that's, yeah, it shows the depth of this team, right? You know, we, have, we have our sensational sophomore, and like, like Mike said, we hope it's better. Quickly. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, you know, we brought some other players in, really, really haven't skipped a beat right now. Yeah, Eklund has come in and hit. I mean, she only had two attacks in the last game, but she got some sets in, and you know, she could play on either side, right side, get on the outside a little bit. I, I don't, probably not what you prefer with the left-handed, but. I you really know, like, she's, uh, she's gotten better as this year's going on. She has, Mike, and I tell you, there's a rotation that Coach Bourne used in the Hayes match. I'm interested to see if she, you know, she brings that out again, where McKenna sets from the from the front row and she does that option over on the second ball. It's really sure. hard to defend at the left. Hand. Three to nine, and Cavaliers lead by six. Hempel leading the way for the Cavaliers. Floats this one middle of the floor, pass around, bumped up in the air, Bingham. Cuts it here to Hempel. Good pass here to Cohen. Calls for it. Pass behind. Hamilton off two feet. Tipped off the block. Bingham punches it back. Hempel with a set. Now here comes Eklund. And through the block. And a kill for the Cavaliers. So I got to give Carson credit there. So, you know, that, that was spreading out that defense. The, ball, the play was all over here to the right side. She back set. That middle had to go all the way to the other side of the net and didn't get there in time. Serve receive here by Roland. They're gonna pass behind. Roland gonna have to fall backwards with that nice hit. Received by Hempel straight up in the air. Claymeyer with the back row gets off the tape, covered up by Austin High. Pass left side. Through two blocks. And most impressive hit probably by the Maroons tonight. And a kill for Austin High. Uh, so I believe that was either Trey Roland or uh, Carly. I believe that Collins. was Roland. I think it was Roland. She, she's probably the most aggressive pin hitter they have, so another another good swing by her. It was hard to defend. 10 to 4. Cavaliers lead. Now back in serve receive. Received by Cohen. Set by Hempel. Smacked by Erie and a touch shot from the middle. 
really nice play by, by Cassie. You know, we had two, two blockers up on the left side. There was nowhere for her to go there. The set was a little low, and she did a power tip to the, to the, to the left side here to wide open court. Just, just a drop by Lake Gary is enough to expand it as the waters start to move here to the Lake the, uh, the Austin High side. They may start drowning in Lake Erie. Set by the middle here by Austin High. Miss Rowland sends it too strong and into the hallway of Austin High. That Some was an unsuspecting nice. kid feared for her life. That was a nice play by Austin High. They didn't execute it well, but they had their middle coming in front. They had their right side coming behind, both for short sets. 12 to 4. Cavaliers to serve and Rio in the net. Uncharacteristic. Uh, Miss serve. Taylor's been serving really well. Yeah. We haven't talked about her much, but she, she's been serving well and playing well on defense. And passing well up on the back row as well. Like, she uh, does, yeah. Diamond Rail will have to wait till next time. And a nice attack, or a service error called on Austin High. That went to the net point for LT. And, you know, that's that's a, another unforced error. You know, their coach, you're sitting there, you know, we're trying to creep back in here. We, we give them a, you know, an unforced error, they give one right back to us. Erie on the serve, sends it here to the middle. Pass, now gonna be attacked from the back row at her feet and saved by Rio. Set by Hempel, uh, tipped by Rudick. Pass around here to the left side, hit on the left side, tip covered by Hempel. Erie pass, sent here to the right side. Eklund with a big swing, but that does not clear the tape. But you tell Eklund wanted to rip that ball and just uh, she blocked by the tape. She did, she, she was going for a real hard angle play there. Um, that's it's gonna be open. She just just missed, it. just missed it. That's a tough shot for her to take, but you know, good effort. Receive short. Clay Meyer sends it pass back in, and is it in? They'll say that was out on the Austin side. Yeah. Kristen really had the hustle to pick that one up. That was close. That was close. They're serving a short again, so we'll see how we respond. Sends it deep left back at Clay Meyer. Passed her out of the floor. And Eklund's gonna punch this one short. Receive short. Set quick hit. Rolls back. That would deny. That should be four. I don't think like, Travis touched that one. Bumped over here. Baldwin sends it here to Hempel. Set behind. It comes Eklund. Eklund cuts it in a kill from McKenna Eklund. Really nice swing by McKenna. She, she's she's got a little bit of a, a lag to her swing. It's late, but it's got a lot of power. And she had a, she hit a sharp angle. That was a great angle shot right there. You know she's got power. She's got angle. I think she's learning touch a little bit. But, you know, a lot of different ways you can use the utility knife, McKenna Eklund. And a hit third into the net, Austin High reeling 15 to seven. In set two, Cavaliers lead one set to none and we have a timeout call. We will take a timeout as well. You're listening to Lake Travis, Cavalier Volleyball on KMAC Sports. We'll be right back. Mike and Mike with you. Here on KMAC, Mike. Vibe Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vibe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. This broadcast and the support of Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball on KMAC Sports and Vibe Media is brought to you by our sponsors, Capital Title and Keller Williams Realty. We're thankful to have our sponsors and the support of this broadcast. We give a big thank you to Capital Title and Keller Williams. Well, let's take you back to the action. And Watts off to serve, and an ace for Abby Watts. Great serve. Coming out of the timeout, that's exactly what you want. You want to get that serve in. She served aggressively down the line. Right on the line, great, great serve. 16-7. Cavaliers lead and a uh, service error on Watts. I think I jinxed her there, Mike. Just talking about how well she's been serving and getting in team and aces. And we, uncharacteristic miss there. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, when it hit as well as Abby, as eventually, like, one of them is going to go into the net. Like, all right, all right, one of them, one of them was two. All right. Serve received here by Lake Travis. Watts with the bump pass from left side. Clay Meyer rules it and a kill down the left side. Yeah, covering there was Carly Holland, and I think that may have gone, may have had a chance to go out, but Chris uh, made her flinch. Gets the point. That line shot. That's a nice thing. She's been, she's been hammering the line, and uh, that's a difficult, difficult shot to defend. 
17-8, line uh, floater here at the middle of the floor. Pass behind the attack line, straight up in the air. Off balance hit by Austin High, saved by Watts. Here comes Maddie. Maddie sends his ball home, <laughs> almost a kill. Bingham's going to send back the other way. Overhand pass there by Maddie. Now here comes Keeley. Keeley spins it over. Recovered here by Austin High. Bingham now from the right side behind the attack line once, twice. And here comes the third hit over by Maddie. Forced it over. Set for the middle. Hit way too strong. And it be an attack error on Austin High. Point for the Cavaliers, 18 to 8. Rolling in set that was, a, that was a miss by, by Austin High. But give that point to Abby Watts. Two, two really nice defensive plays to keep that, to extend that rally. 18 to 8. Serve and receive diving forward as Austin High hit on the right side, smacked over by Noel Wright. Saved by Baldwin. Two handed over by Maddie. Set from the middle. Go down to Jelly. Jelly too strong. Oh, right inside the line of the left back. Great shot by Jelly. Nice swing by Jelly. That, was, that was probably her best swing of the night. Uh, not much you could do defensively about that. She hit the corner. You know, give her credit I mean, on that one. You'll, you'll take your chances on that kid trying to hit that shot at a clip above 20%. Like, that's a really tough one. That is correct. Set by Watts, hit by Hamilton on the left side, tipped off the block, received by Austin High, back in the system, right side, tandem block covering, received by Watts on the other side. Maddie floats it over, tipped off the block once again on Austin High, set to the outside. Rolling high, tip off the block, received by Claymire mid. And the dump off by Watts once, twice, and there you go, a kill for Abby Watts on the turn and burn. She just has a knack to know when the defense is on their heels. She has that dump that goes over. And you're absolutely right. You know, teams have to hit those really difficult shots against us. We'll give them them, right? Yeah, yeah I, mean, you, I mean, like something's got to be open. You're going to make it the hardest shot you can make it. And if they get it, they get it. You know, you tip the cap to them and say, nice shot, dude. Yeah. But we're getting the next one. Cohen sends it long here in the deep court. High pass around the second side. Here comes rolling to the net. And I mean, there's that there's that factor of just having that. You've got Lake Erie, the Williams Wall, the Hamilton show up front. Kelsey, the assassin, just like a ninja back there. Right? There's, there's stuff there. There, 29 in an era. Sometimes ninjas trip too. You throw over your shooting stars. 20 to nine. You start to see these hitters hit the ball in the net, and they're just they're just starting to press against the, the wall that we have up there. 20 to 10, jump serve by Austin High, received by Cohen. Watts with a set across the floor. Hamilton with a big swing, and a throw to the Austin High bats a point for the Maroons. So. He's gonna have to miss sometime. Yeah, I mean, eventually. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's like baseball players. You're not yeah. gonna hit 750 the entire season. Eventually, you know, an infielder is gonna catch a fly ball. Set by Watts, quick set, tacked over by Erie. Side swipe, pass behind. Rowan sends it down the line, and we've got a Bilish called. What does that mean when it goes over him? I know that didn't, didn't look like a reach over, but. Oh, that was a back row attack. So yeah. their, their, their player uh, was probably across the attack line. line, and she, she was above the net when she brought that over. Ah, uh, learn something every match here. Mike and Mike with you. Pass by Hempel, Hempel on the serve. Tipped up by Bockholt. Set by Hempel across. Here comes Clifton Claymeyer on the back row attack. Passed here on the right side. Hit by Bam, saved by Claymeyer. Erie straight up in the air. Hamilton floats it over, covered up. Pass behind here by Austin High. Roll it off, bounce off the pin, and a point for the Cavaliers. Man, they're not making it easy for Trey Roland, and that's a pretty talented kid. And Cavaliers frustrating the Maroons right now. 22 11 and set two. Serve received near side. Spins it for the four for Austin High. Bingham sends it deep, punched up in the air, two handed by Claymeyer. Hamilton. Floats it in the air. Received by Roland. Reached over by Erie. Into the net. Three, three four, five times. Cassie, and Cassie is there. She is so quick off the floor. She, she gets a lot of those plays. Those jousts in the net. She's the first one to hit the ball and attack it. And, and another good point by that job. People fighting out, traveling to Erie, Pennsylvania. Now does fun as you think. 24 to 11. Passed around by Austin High. Comes to set by Hempel. Smack the finish off set two. That's a way to close out the set by, by Cassidy. Great you know, in-system pass. We were right to our strength, and, and she tried to put a hole in the floor there, Mike. Like we say, putting a hole in the bottom of the boat to drown in Lake Erie. Cassidy <laughs> finishing off set two, 25 to 11, and we went 25-15.
25 to 11. Oh my lord, we're already in the Cavs and college section. We're only like a, a little bit into this match, folks. This, this match is fine. So. Yeah, they, they, it was 16 15, roughly, I believe. And uh, we ended up that match, I mean, it was 18 15. We ended that match 25 15, and then they only scored 11 this set. So we have really, from about the middle of that first set, we, we've just taken over this match. Well, I may, I may have some inaccurate information here. Again, Audrey Stratford, the uh, University of Chicago Maroons, going to the UAA Round Robin Tournament, and I can take a look quickly uh, while see how that is going on. And that's a couple-day tournament that uh, they have going on there. Uh, Liam Mulkey right now taking on as Georgia here for the the Ole Miss Rebels. I thought it was Georgia. Yeah, they're you playing met, Georgia. You met the Georgia basketball coach here. Yeah, I was talking about that. Tom Crane paying attention to the first day of basketball practice around the NCAA. And Tom Crane being himself talking about toughness. So trying to bring up the score. I should have been more prepared, but Cavaliers just like rolled through this match so quickly. It's Super like, fast. oh my lord, we're already yeah, here in set fast. three. And so, uh, I gotta tell you what, you know, while you're pulling that up, you know, I think Sasha. We didn't talk a lot about Sasha last match. I think I think Coach gave her a little bit of a, of a break. We, but but Sasha's like, going to play at Providence, and yep. so she'll be able to be added to the you know, to, to keep an so, eye on her next year. I, and it's strange, like she gets the the biggest highlights because they're the most explosive players, and I feel like we don't talk about her after the game. It's like, oh yeah, Sasha the Slayer just completely crushes. So we are uh, set three for Old Miss and Georgia, leading two sets to non Old Miss, kind of hanging in there. Uh, and as Liam Mulkey with seven kills on 22 attacks. Uh, his, or her numbers this year, again, uh, averaging about 2.47 kills per set, a 2.14 hitting percentage. Uh, Skyler Besh, the Demons are now, I think, like one and two in Southland Conference play. Uh, they fell to they fell to New Orleans three to two yesterday, and they're going to play Nichols tomorrow in a conference play. And, uh, Audrey Scrafford again, killing it. 3.3.3.32 kills per set, a 29, a 291 She's hitting percentage. She's playing outside percentage. hitter. Um, her sister played. Yeah, her, her sister played for Virginia she, and had some medical issues. Oh, okay. And I mean. She, she, she was one of the best, still one of the best high ball hitters I've seen out of the kids in this era. She could really get up and you remember her. I mean, it was, it was breathtaking to watch because, you know, I moved down here into Texas and you hear everything's better here in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you saw the first set. And I felt like, you know, she top, touched the top of Lehman Gymnasium and I go, that kid frightens me. Well, I remember the first time I brought my daughter to a match was during the Amy Neal years. And uh, I hadn't been around volleyball in 15 to 20 years, and I come back in, and I remember coming home saying, "What? Well, something's going on. This team looks like a college team, not a not a high school team." And yep. Sure enough, they go on and and pretty much go undefeated and, and win win state that year. Well, I, I'm mistaken about Audrey. Uh, they're at Brandeis and Case Western Reserve. That's a tournament going on at Walton, Massachusetts. That'll be tomorrow. If you want to watch a video, you can go to the University of Chicago website, and that'll be live at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Back, Kristen off the uh, the one from the serve, serve received by Austin Hyde. Abby, Abby continues serving well, gets an overpass, and Kristen, uh, happy birthday, put it away. 25 to 11, Cavaliers take set two. Watts leading the way, served that big one. Go back here to the left side, blocked by Rudick, but it went down to the Cavalier side. A waterfall kill there for the uh, for the Austin High <laughs> Good play. We were there. We were there. We had, we, had the, we had the block up. They just made a made a nice play on the ball. Surfer receive here by Hamilton. Low pass by Watts right up in the air. Maddie tips it over. Tipped off. Oh, that's going to be a lift. A good touch there by Maddie. You're thinking fastball. She hits you right there with a change up. Yeah, she, she's doing a good job of that. She, she does. She's got such a big arm. Gets them on their heels and then hits a nice little roll shot right over the block. Two to one, it's gonna be Clay Meyer here on the serve, receive middle of the floor, low pass. Now a second pass is high, hit by a left hander, too strong, and a point to the Cavaliers. We're starting now to see the hitters, we, we've seen this, this, this story before, Mike. You know, we get into the second, third set, you've been blocked a few times, you start hitting un, uncharacteristic uh, shots from the Austin High right now. And Clay Meyer at her feet, floats, spins it, and it's just about to wow. They got an ace! That was a great serve. I thought that serve was going 
into the bench. That had some side spin on. Came back and hit the line on the left side. I gotta tell you what, it's getting a little loud in here, Mike. I think it the, is. I think the, yeah, we got that freshman game going on behind us. Two games going on. We're not getting confused, though. We, we, we know what's going on. Four to one, Cavaliers lead in set three. Claymire out of feet sense, and now here near side. Left side, now the dump off. Cohen! Oh! He takes it! Oh! Cohen was robbed in the last ball game. If you look she at the was. tape, like how she got her hand underneath that ball. I saw that, I saw that. Great play by Cohen. Great, great, great touch. Went right to Rudick. Didn't have a chance out of here. Comes Sasha with the answer! Woo. Sasha. I, what I really like with Sasha though is not only does she attack, she, she's not afraid to hit those flat shots to the corner. Um, you know, they're yeah. waiting for her kind of at the 10-foot line, and she hits it deep, and there's nobody there. You know, she does a really good job getting her body forward, so you really see that coil and grip right on the ball. 5-2, Cavaliers lead three set here on the outside. Off balance hit by Roma denied by the net on the left side. Hamilton there with hands held high. And nice touch. Good touch went out of bounds. Oh, that was touched by Hamilton. Okay. It's going right. to be a little tough. Austin High, they're, they're, they're trying. Served by Austin High, received by, here comes Erie into the net. The Cavaliers kind of sputtering, but still with a 5-4 lead. A little, little low set there. A little low, a little out of sync. That's okay. We'll get the next one. 5-4 to four lead, Cavaliers lead one, received by Hamilton. Good pass here to the net. Now setting here to the outside. Maddie through the block. Great receive, middle of the four, set up here on the right side. Punched over. Oh, Hamilton and Watt with Cullen for it. And we'll be tied up at five. Yeah, just a little miscommunication on our side. 5-5, five, five. the crowd's getting into it a little bit. You know, just with a little stumble here by us, but you know, let's get a side out right here and get the ball back. And, you know, not the worst thing in the world there, too. I mean, it gets you aware to a Cavaliers kind of sluggish here, trying to get the chemistry back. Short freebie, jousted at the net, back and forth. Eric two slaps it over. Nice play, nice, nice play by Cassie. That's where her quick elevation really comes into play. She made and the first block there, but yeah, you know, she was able to be the first one up at the second ball, almost like a rebounder. In, uh, and, yeah, exactly. Five to six, or excuse me, six to five. Hempel now on the lot. Uh, the floater served middle of the floor. Passed her to the right side. Tipped off the block. Hempel high pass. Jousted two hand over by Erie. Must be 1969 in Cleveland, Ohio, because Lake Erie is on fire. <laughs> Cassidy is. She, she is playing really well. She's been very active in the middle. It's got to be frustrating for us and high. You know, even when they make good plays or score a point, our team is getting their hand on the ball. You know, as a hitter, you want to visually see that ball hit the ground, and we're just not allowing that to happen. Now Hempel on the serve with the left hand, through the middle of the floor. Set for the middle, now hit on the left side. Floater hit a Cohen. Pass close to the net. Side swipe by Erie. And going to be nearly another kill. Received back on the Cavaliers' side inside the antenna. Here comes Keeley around the pan. <laughs> Off of two maroons and a kill for Keeley Hamilton. Keeley swinging well. I got to tell you, Carson had two great sets there. Whew. You know, she, she, she hit a set in the middle. Normally would be a kill. They made a great play on it. Went right back out to the outside and Keeley put it. 8-5, Cavaliers lead by 3, Hempel leading the way off the serve. Pass to the right side, it comes Bingham, blocked! Blocked by Hamilton and Erie. Still in play, tipped over by Rowland, saved by Hempel. Cohen with a pass to the right side, it comes Savannah Arredondo with a cut on the right side. Welcome Savannah Arredondo into the ball game and gets a kill and a nice celebration from Keeley Hamilton. Nice, nice swing by Savannah. Yeah, put it in the right, really good spot. Yeah, she didn't get a lot of touches, but she, she takes advantage of it when she does. 9 to 5, Cavaliers lead by 4, being blocked by Hamilton. And Erie also there as well on the left side of the net for the Cavaliers. And we have a Lake, Lake Travis block city. You might have to add Lake Erie block city. It, it is. Mean, that, that one, yeah, there is, there is a very right distinct now. bridge over uh, block city that goes over into Lake Erie. There's the bridge that connects the two. Cavaliers lead here in the timeout, 10 to 5. It was 5 to 5 at one point, a 5 0 run for the Cavaliers, set three. Nice one. run, nice run by, by the Cavaliers. And this is, you know, this is where leadership pays off, and, and you know, you see the senior leaders out there making plays. Savannah comes in off the bench, makes a nice play. Keeley continues her, her strong play. I tell you, Carson's continuing to set really well, you know, in this match and, and throughout the season. But, you know, I continue to see her get better and better and more confident. 
Uh, I think she's the type of player that just needs a little bit of confidence. But she made some really nice sets there in the last two rallies. Um, and, you know, let's see if we can continue to, to, to separate here in the third set. It's kind of your enforcer. Doesn't smile much. Total competitor. It's like, you know, if everybody's going to be smiling happy, you need that, you know, that, that, that big sister that's just going to punch you right in the face. I mean, Keeley apparently does that according to coach, but, oh, and that's a, oh, saved by the Cavaliers. That's a two-handed touch. Hit to the left side. Oh, and a kill on the left side of the net by great, Trey Rowland. Great but, save by Savannah and Cohen there. And uh, you, know, you were talking about, about Carson. She's got ice in her veins. I mean, she had to serve out that Westlake match, if I remember correctly. That is one of the all-time highlights in the block heard around the world at Lake Erie. 10-6. Oh, that's going to be an ace. Very uncharacteristic ace on Cohen there. It's yeah. awesome hot team, you know. They're, they're continuing to battle. you got to give them credit. You know, you know, it's unique that they're sending it kind of right at the seams, maybe to try to confuse. I don't know if that is deliberately their strategy, but see by Cohen, good pass, good response. Big hit by Erie off the tape, nearly saved with one arm. Pass to Erie continues nice to trample attack. Austin High. Nice attack by Cassidy. You know, our middles continue to do a good job. And you know, Austin High has been serving well. They are, they're finding a seam and a spot here and there. Um, and we're, you know, we're just uh, you know, doing a little bit better offensively. Taylor Rail in the ball game, Diamond Rail for the Cavs. We got Arden Bisecker in the front row as well. And there's Arden, her serve and receive here in the middle by Bright, hit on the right side, blocked! Blocked by Cassidy Uri. Better call the Coast Guard because the Maroons are dying for drowning in Lake Erie right now. Wow, that's why she leads the area in blocks, Mike. She is, she is fun to watch. 12 to 7, Cavaliers lead 5, hit of the right back. Could be Joust with the net once a miss hit back to the Austin side. Cavs heating up, set by Hempel. Erie again. Erie hit once, twice, now the third again. Comes the transition. Apple here to the outside, here comes Arden Bisecker through the block, once, twice, still up in the line, jousting for him. Erie back up in the air. Hempel sets behind, here comes Savannah, block through and gets the kill. Nice play. Good point for a good kick. Savannah Oradondo with a kill. And Cassidy, Cassidy lit up one of their players. I think she hit her in the head. We came back and got that point. 13 to 7, serve receive left side. Quick set, oh, paintbrush. And yeah, you know, some missed time jump there by Bockholt, and I think she would have got in stride. She would have hammered that ball too. She, she has some elevation, I will say. She's six foot three. And <laughs> she can really up. reach up. That Bockholt kid's got a nice future. Nice serve receive here on the right side. The dump off. Cohen saves it again. Beesecker's gonna have to bump it. Miraculous save by Cohen though, and a big hit, and there you go. Bockholt. Finally got the timing down right. Cavaliers didn't have an answer, but I mean, you had to think of how many times it took for her to get to that point, though. It is, and you know, Cohen, I mean, that's two pancakes this match, one last match they missed. And she's yeah, just not letting the ball hit the ground. That's, I think, I think those folks at IHOP got it wrong. They, they yeah. needed to mark a Kelsey Cohen. It, pancakes all night received by Cohen. Set here to the outside. Here comes a uh, kill by Art Bisecker down the left side. Great line shot to a proud pop over here. What do you think of that? Nice Mike. swing. Good, that was a good swing. We saw her have a good rip last you, you night. Had to be a, you had to be a dad for a moment. Uh, you know, uh, it's like. We'll take, I like when it hit the floor. You know, that was a good <laughs> swing. She went down the line, which is good. You know, she needs to move her balls around a little bit. That was a good swing. And we'll have Ginger Baldwin in the game here for the Cavaliers. We're saved. Passed up the air by Menke. Hit around, hit on the left side. Line drive in front of the Cavalier bench. Out. Now 16 to 8. Cavaliers still continue to roll. Ginger Baldwin's been doing a nice job as well. You know, she comes in, she has a lot of nice energy. I like, I like her attitude on the court. Serves aggressively, plays very good defense. Baldwin, a little hot baby jump serve, sent down the line. Bumped around here by Austin High, hip in the back row. Liner hit at Cohen. Oh, off the bill. Saved by Rio. Ornanda's going to bump this one short on the third. Hit by Menke here to the right side. Cut. Received by Hempel. Rio with a bump pass. Here comes Savannah. Savannah blocked back. Oh, Hempel standing up. Was in position for it, but too late to react. Yeah, good block. Good, good swing. That is a great Savannah, block. But a good, you know, better block on their side. Point off and high. Let's get a side out here. And uh, let's see if we can extend the lead. And I think that's one thing Lake Travis got to get a little bit more consistent with is being in position. 
when they're uh, blocked back from behind. Art Bisek, great cut and a kill for Art Bisecker. Good swing. I like, I like the aggressive swing. She's swinging, she's swinging with confidence uh, as a freshman. Uh, she's getting more comfortable every time I see her come in. I see her getting a little more comfortable. I, I, I feel like she's jumping a little bit better as her legs got stronger throughout the year. At first impression, it's like, but you know, still a ways to go. But you know, that freshman and sophomore, your jump athletically is uh, going to be probably pretty nice one for Orton. So 17 and nine, hit from the back row, saved by Baldwin, good pass by Watts behind. Here comes Williams. Williams with the touch and just making it look easy on the right side. Maddie the machine. Maddie the machine. I like that. That is a that's a, a great line for her. Great great nickname for her right now. She is a machine. She's a point scoring machine right now. And there we go. 18 to nine. And once twice ain't gonna be an ace for Chinter Baldwin. Cavaliers lead 19 to nine. We're we're coming up with nicknames. I think Kelsey Cohen's got to be called IHOP because she's serving up pancakes oh, like all that. night. Like John Broon's got nothing on me, man. Time out, Broon's. 19-9. So, yeah, this, this, is a, this is a classic Lake Travis match. It's, it, you know, they come out full of fire, and, you know, we just start wearing them down, wearing them down with our blocking. You know, we're, we're pancaking, we're digging balls, um, and then we just start attacking from all over, all over the court. Dynamic offense, a lot of kids you can plug and play in here, get some good experience. And we're gonna have Sydney Thompson come to the ball game, also Claire Havens, 19 to nine here at the end of set three with B-Sector, Rio, Thompson, Baldwin, and Abby Watts, the light bulb. Man, I gotta do something way more creative for Abby. That's 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 BS right there. We got a, a better effort well, served we by Abby Watts for the kind of player she we is. We have a few more matches, Mike, so. Here we go, 19 to nine. What, what spins this middle of four set in front of the net here, hit the left side, tipped off, the hands of Havens on the right side. Good touch, good touch by Havens. Better swing by Austin High. Let's get a side out here and, and go on a, on a six point run. 19 to 10, Cavaliers lead by nine. Serve receive here by Baldwin. Good pass. Watts gets underneath it. Here comes the strike by B Sector. Too strong. Try to attack the mid, but you know, she, she's got a great just rip through that ball. Strong like. swing, strong swing. A little, you know, on the right side here. She hasn't had a lot of swings there this year. Baldwin now pass off the serve receive. Watts yeah, behind. Right. Here comes a hit by B Sector down the line. Finds the floor. I like that. I like that. They went right back to her. Uh, you know, she was able to, you know, she missed the last one with a pretty hard swing. This time she went down the line, a little more controlled swing. You know, that's a little bit maturity level starting to develop there, hopefully for the freshman. Next couple of years, we we'll be talking a lot about this kid named Martin Biesecker. Floats the serve over nearly an ace, passed around straight up in the air. Bingham throws it over, received by Hamilton, set by Watts. Here comes Keeley. Keeley off the block, tip, kill Cavaliers, 21-11. Another nice ho-hum swing by Keeley for an ace. Abby Watts is just putting the ball in a very good spot. I, 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 she is getting better as the year is going on. No chance, no problem for the Cavaliers. And over hit by B. Sector on the serve, 21-12. You know, I was kind of concerned with that no chance here. Like, who's going to pick up the nickname Slack tonight? And everybody, you know, the machine, the slayer, Cohen, the IHOP machine, yeah, set ones. by Watts. Here comes Hamilton. Left side, tools this one off the block. Bing and got a hand on it, but... Spin back to the maroon bench. Nice pull there, right? She did it right off the block. No, I, li I like it. We got IHOP and we got the machine. So the machine, know. you know, the safe haven, Claire Havens. So we've yeah, got Lake Erie. Yeah. I got to come up with our IHOP, throws it over. Received now here, front of the net. Tipped over too strong and, and a point for the Cavaliers. Yeah, no touch. And fatigue's starting to set in. And, you know, they're, they're mentally getting fatigued. They're hitting balls out by 10 feet, you know, that wall is just beating him down. Up the serve by Cohen. And here, pass out of system, nearly an ace, bumped up here, here comes B. Secker, pass it back and up, like, good pass there to Watts, here comes Hamilton with the rip and tools it off the block for a nice kill for the Cavaliers. Hardy made a nice play, she was deep in her corner, she pushed that ball far up enough that Watts could get a nice set out to the outside, and now we're at game point again, Mike. And here we go. Gonna be 
International House of Pancakes, Kelsey Cohen floats it. Received here in the middle of the floor, set, hit by Bingham, blocked back. Blocked back by Erie and Hamilton, but back in play for the Maroons. Bingham here from the right side, tipped by Lake Erie. Hit by Lake Erie again, touch back, Maroons keep it again. Hit on the right side, oh, and line defender, Watt saves it. Here comes Hamilton, tip, oh, and into that. But wow, what a save there by Watts, who just took a missile right at her and put straight I, up in the I air. I think that's probably what she's improved on the most. I, I, I think her defense um, has really been improved. I don't know if it's been a focus of hers, but she's continuing to improve there. And serve received here by B-Sucker. Watts sends it. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton going to get the kill to finish the game. Set, match. Cavaliers win. Cavaliers win. The Cavaliers win. Cavaliers win, and Keely Hamilton puts the explanation point on a great match for her. That's back-to-back, -back, really strong hitting performance by her. I think another efficient match by Lake Travis. I think that... Uh, you know, Abby continues to set at a high level. She had some great defensive plays. You know, Cohen was was pancaking the IHOP machine. Was you know was. I, I think we will find that there's something there though. It's got to be. I think IHOP's good. It is. It doesn't it is. quite jump off the the, the 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 tongue yet, but you know. Maddie the machine though. I mean, she yeah, had Maddie the machine match. is. Maddie is. Uh, if she could. M1000. You remember like T1000, the machine yeah, yeah. from the Terminator? Like M1000, we've got, is there anybody whose name starts with a T on this team? We call them T1000. Taylor, well, Taylor Diamond Rio. Taylor, Taylor Diamond Anybody catch this on the archive? We we, uh, we had a plug unplugged by uh, behind the court, so we we lost us a little bit more for a moment there. But we're we're back hey, on. Second Mike and Mike show. Yeah, we we came up with some creative nicknames. We had to really raise the standard with the wheeler in the sky grounded tonight with some illness. So we do hope to pump up the jams. And Let me see if I can get an update on that buoy haze. I'll yeah, see let's see if we got anything, anything on that. On that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, like I said earlier, I think we have uh, now 3,336 3, more uh, broadcasts to go to catch uh, the original Mike and Mike, and we'll be in good shape. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if, if we want to just get together and start complaining about the Jets, then we can just, you know, we can have the broadcast <laughs> there. Greenberg, Golick, I, I'm sorry. I just couldn't listen to Mike Greenberg complain about the Jets. It's just <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. They're terrible, all right? I know. We all know the Jets are terrible, but, you know, credit well, to Well, I have them. one update. So, th yeah, there's a lot of big matches. There, yeah, there are. Industry. There's a lot of them here on KMAC Sports as well. Which I don't know why, if they're why out, they I out the Round Rock and, and Westwood. I have Westwood up two sets to, 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 to zero right now against uh, Round Rock. And... Uh, yeah, Westwood is missing their Matt, yeah their big hitter that's going to play Beach at Stanford. Matty Chris is out, I think. For yeah, the I uh, for a while. I I uh, know one guy over there at Westwood that uh, his daughter was one I think whose foot got stepped on that, mm -hmm. and it was literally happened that night. I get to see like he felt pretty bad uh, about it. It's like, but all right, so Westwood's up two nothing on the Round Rock Lady Dragons that would be broadcast here on KMAX Sports. Um, not sure if I've got any other hu any scores directly in front of me here on the volleyball side for uh, you know a lot of football going on. It's a crazy Sat Friday. Mm. You know, we I think we had like 22 total broadcasts tonight. Wow. And uh, I mean that's a that's a that's an okay night for us. That, that's so we came back all across the globe. Well, football football is uh, is king here, and uh, really volleyball is. King or queen, however you want to say it, for the girls. I mean, it is the it is the sport. It was a, it was a fun atmosphere here tonight. It was, you know, pretty loud gym. A lot of people here supporting Austin High, and uh, yeah, you know, but we were just we we just have too much too much for a lot of these teams in the middle part of our district. Right, you know, and it was improvement the last time they played too, because if I remember right, score went it was 25-21, 25-14, 25-11 in that first matchup. So. 
it, it was one of those kind of things where, yeah, Austin High, again, they, they got off to, hot, to, to a pretty good start and then just got slowed down, and I think they just kept sinking as the game went on. And, yeah, that's what Lake Travis is going to continue to do. They're going to have two matchups next week against Del Valley and Lehman. Then we move on to the meat of the schedule with uh, Hayes, Westlake, and Bowie. And, you know, Cavaliers will, will have a good week to prepare, recover. You know, I imagine if you play this many matches, and Coach Bourne alluded it to it, trying to trying to take it a little bit easier to try to get your second legs throughout the season. I think and she is. I mean, I know last year um, she had a lot of Saturday practices. She, she's really not not doing a lot of Saturday I, practices this year. I, and I think they kind of that that team specifically last year had to play a certain way with the level of precision that. You know, they had to really hammer the small things to be able to, to beat those really great Not teams. A lot of room for error. And, mm-hmm. and, 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 well, I mean, and, and you also developed within that time, too. So, I mean, I know that wears on kids a little bit, but yeah, I think it was a necessary part of the process of the development of, of a lot of the kids on this team that it, it was one thing you were going to have to go through to get to your – to the level that, okay, now you've, you've nailed down all the things, you're rewarded by being able to take a rest. Yep. And, you know, when I coached, I coached hard, and I was intense about everything, and I just wanted to work, 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 and, you know, we had to have a team meeting and say, can we, can we have a little more fun here? Can we, can we make this a little less smash-mouth practice? I said, no, but I'll consider it, and then we did. So. Yeah, I, think coach, I think Coach is taking that approach. I mean, you know, I, th- well, I think even some of the practices, you know, I, I see they're ending a little earlier at times. Uh, not that they're not working hard, but, but I think she knows, I think she hopes and knows that they have a chance to go really deep and yeah, I mean, the playoffs. And, and you're going to need, we're going to need the, everybody healthy and, uh, you know, somewhat, you know, have uh, rested up and, and ready to go. So uh, 25 15, 25 11, 25 11. Uh, I think we will take one break. We'll see if Coach needs to talk or if they're going to get rolling out here. Uh, I, I mean, I, you know, I think for her it's kind of like you'd be, we could be here for 20 minutes complimenting everybody because everybody played so well in this. I think, I think the team's peaking. I, I really feel like... And there's still room for growth, too. I mean, we, that, I here's agree. the thing. Like block backs, they still saw kids not in position that when that ball came back, they're still standing. And that's a tough thing to... For, for a habit to build because, you know, I think a lot of kids watch that, that strike come and they think, you know, Matt is going to terminate this ball. But, like, you know, when you watch, the thing that amazed me about that Woodlands team three years ago was how happy they looked when that ball came back to them because they were ready for it. And they, they were almost like, we're going to eat this ball when it comes back to us. And Lake Travis still needs to take that next step, I think, in making that consistent. And, you know, teams... Area. Teams learn that as they go. Like we're, we're not criticizing. It's just one of those things that, you know, like you work on a left-hand layup or you, you know, anything else. Like it's just one little tool in your arsenal. So well, we'll yeah, see. I think what I think what you see is you know that and here I'll give you a, 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 a throw out some volleyball terms for you. Yeah, so, there we go. So you know, um, they're 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 around the block. We call it a campfire. Yep. So they want to be around the block campfire. When you campfire, you want your hands out there in the fire, kind of warm, and you want them low. Yep. Because you don't have time if your hands are up. Yeah, if your hands are up here, like you, you can't, no you can't do anything so with that. That's, that's certainly that was a good pickup by you, Mike. Another area. that and the tipping and the the short. If you look at most of the balls that are being scored on us, I think it's mostly those short balls in the middle, short tips. So you know we have to be ready for those hits. You know, but our but our but our but our defenders that are playing the, the you know the, by the ten foot line, it's usually your setter and your uh, libero. They need to be ready to pinch in and, and get that. I mean, we're we're really nitpicking here. Trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that's what great teams have to understand is that you know there is no finish line. Like there is not. You know, I mean, I guess if you get to the point where you beat somebody twenty five to nothing, which is uh, pretty much an improbability, I think in this area it's six A to be able to do, but. You know, there, there's never things that you can run out and try to not keep improving on. And you need to you keep know, everybody but, but, but nearly playing. perfect here tonight as far as the result. Well, Jams, I mean, we have our number one, um, you know, pin hitting percentage, second highest hitting percentage, I think, on the team. And as far as, the, the you know, the players that play all the time, you know, she was gone. Uh, and, uh, you know, we were really able to just, just pick up and, you know, Kelsey, uh, you know, uh, Keeley, I'm sorry, went in and, and played outside hitter. Um, you had McKenna come in and play right side. Savannah yeah. played right side. Arden got a little bit on the outside towards the end. Um, and we really didn't, didn't, didn't skip a beat. But I, I tell you, I, I'm anxious to see 
the, you know those th- those th- articles that come out in the uh, in the, the statesman around the the, fa- the top five. Yeah, the top and five. I, I our middle our middle hitters are going to be they're going to be there all year. They're playing at a very very high level. Yeah, and that, that's the thing about you know success. And I, I retweeted a guy named Mike Dunlap, who's a head coach at the you know uh, Loyola Marymount, that quoted that you know with success you want to shadow box with it. You don't want to totally embrace it. You don't want to totally you know, you, you want to enjoy it, obviously, but, you know, that's the thing about accomplishments is you can get really full on them and say, we're ranked to this and that, and you think you've already gotten there, and I think this this team is smart enough to recognize that, too. So we're going to call it a night here, Mike Biesecker, Les Clary, QA, our producer back in the KMAX studios. Uh, yeah, another great show for the Mike and Mike show. I'll go let you be dad. I might get out of here and pack up and call it a night. Sounds we're done good. before 8 o'clock, folks. MVP performance by the Cavaliers at epic timing. We'll call it a night. Great win, Cavaliers. Cavaliers win. Cavaliers win. The siren song we sing. So, Mike Biesecker, Mike Youngblood, Les Clary, Chuck Licata, Mo Bertrand, Soon Event Cat, uh, Christina Weber. Uh, that one guy high five me in the hallway at KMAC for everybody there. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. But listen to Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball, 3-0 win against Austin High. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks, Mike.